Staples. Hola. How are we feeling? Good, man. Today's the day. This is it. This is the one. How you like nervous, excited, or does it feel real now? Um, we'll see. I don't know. We have to get over there. Like it's still an hour and 15 minutes before we start, so. Right. We'll uh, we'll get registered and see how it goes. It's a big day, man. People are hyped up. I'm hyped. I'm not even playing. I just. It's yeah. It's crazy to be here. It'll be good to get the ticket and get in the room and see what it's like, you know? There's gonna be some nervous people, that's for sure. Yeah. Okay, great. Thank you. 85 seat 2. Save the line, Jamie. This the winning ticket? <laughs> Alright, thank you. See you, man. <laughs> Never gets old. Yeah. That's the one. It's a good spot. I like it is this. a good spot. You can sit like, you get a view of the whole room. What's up, Felix? Hey. How you doing, How's man? You pumped? Hey. Yeah, I'm super pumped. Nervous or just? Yeah, super nervous. Oh, really? Super nervous, yeah. You'll do, nice you'll do fine, man. Oh, I don't know. I, where to go, what to, what to do right now. I'm just a little bit lost. What's How up, are we dude? feeling, dude? Pretty good. You pumped? Oh, it's like a you nice look loose and limber. I'm pretty loose and limber. Are you filming right now? Yeah. Yeah, oh, I'm loose and limber. Always rolling, always rolling. Loose and limber. Did you get some sleep last night? Yeah, 10 hours. 10 hours? Yeah. Jesus Christ, man. I think I got like four. That's why I look the way I am at 65 years old. So I would encourage everyone to get at least 10 hours of sleep every day. <laughs> Just micro stakes, you know it. Yeah, sick. Casual little uh, twenty-five thousand dollars. This is two and a half times the biggest tournament I've ever played in my life. Yeah, shout out to Jamie, man. We were supposed to do a podcast. Andrew was so gracious and already did one on our channel. Jamie got a little sick, and we're gonna uh, we're gonna go from there. We're gonna get it done, hopefully before live in person, uh, before the Bahamas is over. But you know, speaking of this, look at this beautiful trophy. It's amazing. I'm just excited, electric, and ready to rock, man. This is a this has got a different vibe than normal here. I'm excited, and uh, me and Jamie are gonna make a good run here. I feel it. We'll see you guys deep in the tournament. All right, this is it, Brando. Whoa. This is game time. We are 10 minutes from pickoff. We got the seat right here. I really like the seat, actually. It's a good spot. Um, I see, uh, oh, is Andrew coming to your table? Oh, come on. <laughs> What's up, dude? How you doing? How's it going? Good to see you, man. You as well. You ready for this? I'm ready. How are you feeling? Good. A little nervous, but like, I know. excited. This is a big one. Nervous, excitement, all that. Yeah. yeah, yeah. All right, you good. This is it, guys. This is the big one. 25,000. It's gonna be like four million up top or something like that. This is life changing. This is the winning seat right here. 85 C2. This is the one. Probably the most eagerly anticipated event in PokerStars history. And looking at the number of players registered, this event is already. This is the moment you've all been waiting for! It's time! Let's shuffle up and deal! So just got checked out by a nurse here. I'm blinding out of the tournament currently. Um, yeah, feeling pretty, pretty bad. A lot of chest tightness and like the biggest thing was I was so dizzy. I felt like I was gonna faint. Right. It's definitely not nerves or anything. It was just like, like just dizzy. Yeah. You know, like confused. Uh, so went to see a nurse and she said you have to go see emergency to get checked up at the same hospital. So. Oh, you're going to the hospital. Yeah. 
So we're gonna go back there, get a quick checkup, and then uh, you know, hopefully figure out what's wrong. Or I chipped up to like 65k or so. Okay. The top set, so a little bit above starting, but we're gonna miss two or three hours now and probably chip down to whatever, 52, 53. Well, uh, this might no, not a. Six hours later. So after six hours, that's right, six hours of blinding out, we were back at the Atlantis for the tournament. Good news is Jamie was feeling a little bit better, and he was all cleared by the medical staff, so it was safe to go back. Now we just had to find his seat and figure out if he still actually had chips in the tournament. Good news is his stack was actually pretty healthy, and regarding his health. Well, stay tuned as Jamie will explain more about that later in the video. 46, 47. That's, that's <laughs> way healthier <laughs> than I expected. This is fine. It's game on. All right, let's go. Fly, Manny, sir. I had a couple tough players on my table. The bigger hands I had. The big draws were kind of bricking. Right, Things yeah. weren't going my way. Um, I pulled off a huge bluff that worked and then a big bluff that didn't work. I had about 19 big blinds. Just folded me in the small blind. Mm -hmm. I ripped in ace five. Big blind called King Jack suited. They got there. GG. It's unreal and I'm in Bahamas. I have a full week here. Like it's gonna be incredible either way for sure. And I still have some swaps and stuff in there. So I got sweats going on. It'll be good. Rocky start, finished up 90,700 at 60k starting. But yeah, got down to 40k at the start of the day. It's pretty much card dead, folding a bunch of bottom 10% hands and a big blind, check folding, C bet folding. Yeah. So just pretty thin, nothing huge really. Um, towards the end, made a couple nice bluffs. If I lose this tournament or if I min cash, it's not going to change my life. You know, I'd have to at least like win 100k plus to be really happy about it. You know, I'll be happy regardless, but. Losing now, winning 100k, whatever. You know, it's yeah. not gonna. I want the life-changing money. You know, because right now it's not gonna change the stakes I'm playing. Really, 100k might, but at the moment, I'll be playing the 530s online still. Trying to survive, man. How you doing? Good, got 125k, so. That's all right. Yeah, not too bad. That's not I bad mean, at all. Still got, you know, as long as you have bullets, then everything's gonna be all right. It's the main event, and then this one, where playing actually in contention for that amount of money is nuts. Yeah. I think the money bubble is gonna be close tonight. The bubble will be intense, no doubt. Cool. Yeah, it's gonna be pretty exciting. Do you reckon uh, you'd still do the vlog if you cashed the five milli? <laughs> I think it would take a little bit of a different turn or tone or something, <laughs> yes. but I would probably still do some creation and stuff, I think. Yeah. yeah. So uh, yeah, I got started on the day, came in with 68K. I'm up to like 160 now. Um, so feeling pretty good, like uh, a lot better than yesterday, obviously. Kind of the nice thing is that I'm playing very furious, fearlessly. You yeah. know, there was a period this morning where I didn't think I was gonna play the event. The medication I got worked out well. Uh, feeling pretty relaxed and like. Is it making you drowsy or anything? No, feeling okay. That's yeah, good. so kind of fearless poker, dude. You know, just like figuring out the right decision and, and making the play. In a sense, it's an edge. Like you got an edge now. Yeah, yeah, I think so. You know, and it's just like make sure I stay on top of taking care of myself.
How you do this? How you get that? that he was playing super tight all day as well. Like uh, super tight. Like, good caught, Devin. Frustrated kind of thing. And I never, I never shoved on him either. So I don't know. You know, sometimes people just snap, you know? Like, I, I've been really active at the table. And like, also kind of like, friendly, go lucky, like chattering with people and stuff. Uh, there was one pot where I hit two pair on the river that allowed me to shove. Yeah. Um, I didn't, oh no, I did get called. No, I didn't get called. I didn't get called, that was, that was a big one. No, it's pretty neutral, dude. It's just like, I've, I've had a good run of cards pre-flop, so I've been able to play a lot of hands and uh, playing fearlessly. I, I looked at the chip counts, yeah. and with that pot, you'd probably be top 15, top 10 stack. Yeah, I think so. Pretty remarkable turnaround, dude. Good situation. It's good, man. Four hours left, yeah, four more levels. There's 404 left or something like that. Money bubble's 180, so we're getting, uh, getting down to it. Ooh, crunch yeah. Okay, guys. That feeling. feels good, man. Describe the feeling. Awesome. <laughs> Doubling up is awesome. <laughs> oh, crikey. It doesn't, honestly, I've had worse days. Yeah. The free rolls, so it's whatever, but to give me three diamonds, I felt like I was getting there. Oh, and you had one diamond in your hand? I had a diamond. He had nine, no diamond. It came like three diamonds. I had two overs as well. Damn, man. Oh, man. Guess I'll go find the boys. Yeah. It's time to start drinking. Yeah, that too. happens when you run out of chips. Nothing too exciting, just uh, lost a couple flips along the way and then uh, wines go up in these tournaments. I don't know if you know about that, no. but that's what happens. <laughs> yeah, it's an uh, increasing wine structure. That's how they move now. I uh, got Ace-10 is <laughs> suited in versus uh, Pocket Jacks and I did not win. I think uh, anytime you are playing a tournament like this where there's tons of superheroes in the mix, uh, even if you don't do well in this one, it's a pretty cool learning experience yeah. that you can take with you. That's the uh, silver lining that I'm going to tell myself as I cry in my uh, room. Yeah, got a couple swaps and pieces in the 25, so not completely out yet in terms of the dream for that. But yeah, there's going to be a bunch of other good events here. But obviously the uh, showcase is the 25K, so rooting for Jamie here to knock it down. All right, so we're sitting on 134K. A couple tough hands there. I played a squeeze pot. It didn't didn't work out, got four bet and jammed on with king, queen suited. Uh, and then kind of just biding my time, I just picked up kings. There was a raise into the gun and a three bet. I jammed with 100k, which was um, not much. Blinds were 2k, 4k, right? Yeah. So it's 25 big blinds to start the hand, but with a raise and a three bet, it's like not very much of a jam. The guy tank folded ace queen, so that one kind of sucks. Um, but we're in an okay spot, we're 100 off the money. We're below average right now, but like, doing fine. I'm assuming we're gonna come back to 3K, 6K, which will leave me with 23 big blinds. Um, but the MO at this point is just like, gotta play pretty tight. The money bubble is big, 25K, so it's just like straightforward poker, shove, reshove poker, you know. We don't have a stack where we can open a lot of hands and play post-flop, so pretty basic stuff, just Even straight forward. chill out and yeah. ride the wave, see what happens. <laughs> That sounds worse. Last time I heard you had 240. Dang. What are you on? Way less than that, so. Oh. Yeah. You're the king of survival. That's it. So <laughs> preach to the I'm, streets. I'm hanging in there. You know, if you're in the tournament, you'll never eliminate it. So that's what I'm going for right now. That's it. <laughs> Jacks to ace jack, unfortunately. I uh, shoved 100k, 3k, 6k, so 17 bigs. Called by ace jack, um, ace on the flop, and that's, that's the end of the tournament. So that was definitely the most difficult tournament of my life. Not when it comes to play. Play was fine, you know, it was, it was a pretty good field. Like it got harder and harder as the day went on, but yeah, just a lot of personal struggles over the course of the, the two days. <clears throat> well, four days really, so. I had the allergic reaction, which was in the vlog. Um, on day one of the tournament, I started feeling pretty bad. Um, my throat was closing up, so it felt kind of like similar to the allergic reaction. It's hard to breathe, and uh, I was getting a lot of chest pains, so 
after about an hour in play, uh, I got myself checked out by a nurse, and they sent me to the hospital. So I missed four hours of play on uh, on day one. I don't know if that was in the blog or not. Gave me a bunch of medication, gave me a scan, like um, an x-ray, and hooked me up to like a heart machine, took blood work. Everything was fine, so it came out that it was a, an acute anxiety attack, and then a bronchial something, where my, my breathing was closing up due to anxiety. Probably the most difficult day of my life, I think. Um, and obviously the biggest day of my career at the same time. This morning, I didn't even think I was going to play the tournament, honestly. I was feeling a lot of the same symptoms. Uh, I was given some medication to help me deal with the state that I was feeling in sort of since this allergic um, reaction. Uh, and that helped quite a bit. So smooth, and then it was looking good. You know, we had 230k about three hours ago. Lost a few pots, you know, got short. When you're like 22 to 10 big blinds, there's nothing you can really do. You just gotta wait for a hand. Uh, we got that hand and, and bust in 235th. Pays it 181, so. That's a tough 25K loss, man. At least, you know, at least. Five million for first, but. It takes a second, but I think very quickly, I'll get back to putting things in perspective, which is, you know, I've been mentally kind of strained recently and it'll be good to like take some time and and relieve some of that stress and relax um but physically i'm healthy um very happy i have my fiance rebecca uh around me i still get to live my dream even though i busted this tournament still get to stream on twitch i'm, I'm still very fortunate at the end of the day so this is a tough one to swallow but we will live to fight another day that's the thing about <clears throat> daily vlogs it's not all uh on the up and up. I mean, we could make a story that was on the up and up and lie to you guys, but uh, what we want to do is show the real story. And today, the last two days, is it's been pretty rough, but that's the reality. That's life. And uh, get back on it and keep striving to be better. That's where I'm at. Uh, I'm going to go have dinner, relax, <coughs> and um, we'll go from there. I really do appreciate you guys sharing this journey with me. It means a lot that you guys tune in and hang out. And we'll be back, I promise. Till next time. See you later.